Stephen Ray Tickle, or just Tickle, was born on the 30th of November, 1976 in Virginia, USA, so is now 43 years old. Tickle was thrown into the limelight by Moonshiners in 2013, an American docudrama TV show featured on the Discovery Channel. The series is about people involved in the manufacturing of illicit drink, and in which a man named Tim Smith is the most wanted moonshiner, while Tickle serves as his partner in crime. The success of the show, and his success too, brought on board by the sequel simply named Tickle, also featured on the Discovery Channel. Funnily enough, this was not Tickle's first career or choice. Stephen Tickle is a classified carpenter, recognized for building the popular Clyde's Restaurant located in the Washington metropolitan area. Carpentry is a skill he enjoyed and traded in long before his TV career began. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Buoyed by the success and fame he had gathered through the TV series, Tickle at one point nursed political ambitions, with his eyes focused on the U.S. Congress. In 2015, he considered running against U.S. Representative Robert Hurt in Southern Virginia, wanting to be amongst the lawmakers, but this was somehow a long shot and out of reach for him. Some kind of wild dream which never came to pass, partly because of his run-in with the law. Tickle's life hasn't always been smooth sailing, especially in the public eye, having been arrested in 2013 for drunkenness, so he has enjoyed media attention for the wrong reasons too. According to a complaint filed by a citizen, Tickle apparently drank from an open container in a parking lot. In 2015, he was arrested again and charged with illegal possession of a firearm. His three-year jail term was suspended, but he was later thrown into prison for five months having violated his probation. At one point, it was even rumored that Tickle was dead after an accident, but was clarified later that the rumor might have generated from some of his actions, unidentified. Considering his somewhat volatile career, Tickle's wealth is quite reasonable. Since his debut in the third season of Moonshiners, Tickle is believed to have earned over $1 million from the series alone, an annual salary of $175,000, which, however, is not the only source of his net worth. Tickle is also an accomplished carpenter who built one of the popular food joints in Verizon Center in downtown Washington, called Clyde's Restaurant. So authoritative sources estimate that his net worth is over $500,000 as of mid-2020. Over and above his fame and net worth, Stephen's family life has been shrouded in mystery. The little that is in the public domain, however, indicates that Tickle was born to Louise Eileen Tickle and now lives in rural Pennsylvania County, Virginia, while working in Gretna. Little is revealed about his father, but it's claimed that Tickle's seeking refugee and drugs was a result of his father's illness, which took a toll on him as a young person. However, Tickle pulled himself together and quit the habits that could have ruined him and indulged in his career doing what he loves most. On being hitched, Tickle has kept his mouth shut, even though fans would love to hear that Stephen has got someone close to his heart to share his life with, but he seems to enjoy his single life at the moment. Intriguingly, however, Tickle does have a doting daughter named Daisy Tickle, currently 17 years of age, who says that he's a great dad. Her mother is unidentified. The fact that Stephen Ray Tickle is tight-lipped about his personal life makes it even harder for his fans and followers to keep tabs on the goings-on around him. Very little is known about his father or wife, or if he is in a relationship or intends to get hitched. Hopefully, he will become a little more forthcoming about his private affairs and satisfy the curiosity of his audience. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.